Um, America. Not now, got a lot going on, Russia. I'm a little busy over here. What is it you want this time? I was just wondering how you felt about me foiling your plot to uh, assassinate the CEO of Rheinmetall. Not really sure I pronounced that correctly, but uh, yeah, German defense company. I do not know what you're talking about. Obviously, you are making stuff up again. Let's hear what Germany has to say. And who do you think helps them foil your plan, yeah? Ooh, Jordan fades back. Swish! And that's the game! America! Nope, I'm not done yet. Reaper, tell them about your recent upgrades. Uh, so I just got an electronic warfare upgrade. More or less, what it means is that I can replicate almost any signal pushed at me from a radar, so I ultimately become a black hole without being stealth, which is kind of cool. Which is good, because I get more action than the kid does. Franklin, I told you to get me the keys. You have little people hands. Where did you get a prosthetic leg? I'll deal with you in a minute, Reaper. <clears throat> America! Uh, anyway, kid, uh, speaking of you, uh, I don't know if you're aware that your upgrades are going through and we've kind of, uh, pumped the brakes on the next generation air dominance for right now. I tell you what, I'll make you a deal. Skip the upgrades, open the hangar doors, and let me just go take a, a real enthusiastic walk in East Europe. Kid, that's gonna be a hard maybe, if the Slavic special ed over there keeps on playing hide-and-go war crime. What the heck there, bud? It's not fair. That's our favorite game. Because remember, everyone, when the sorry stops, the war crimes start. America, this is getting ridiculous. And, uh, hey, Japan. Oh, crap. What the do you want? That whole bit with cruising into China's territorial waters? Oh, chef's kiss. Oh, Japan. We told you several times do not approach the great China. And when we said that, you sped up into our territorial waters. Next time, China will not be so lenient. There is an old Japanese proverb you must learn. It goes like this. <clears throat> Fuck a you, West Taiwan. Japan, I don't know where you've been hiding. 10 out of 10, homie. America. Uh, there's There's got to be some more news. There's something else that I'm missing. Not yet, not yet UK. Uh, there's something. Somebody give me something. America. Have we, uh, have, have we read the Powerball numbers yet? Uh, how about that? America. I know. I know. <sighs> I'm sorry. I had no idea that it would affect you this adversely. But why? Why is a former president who's currently running for office having to dodge bullets? I thought long and hard about this one today, guys. There's really no way to make jokes about this. We are better than this. The reality of American politics is often that two political opponents do not talk about how good they can make things and how much they can do for us, the American people. They spend so much time and effort and money vilifying their opposition. This coupled with the news and social media outlets trying to vilify anyone they possibly can to get clicks and information. To the average American, we understand that this is the way politics work and we don't take it to heart. But there is a small demographic of people on both sides of the political spectrum who view that it is their obligation as an American to deal with the threat to their democracy. Regardless of what side of the political spectrum you reside on, this is not something that can continue. This is not something that should have happened. We can blame anything we want to, but ultimately the blame remains on the individual and the choices that they made that led up to this. My deepest sympathies to the individuals who were wounded and killed during this attempted assassination. There are so many who are using this as an opportunity to divide us even further, but the two candidates that this involves have come together and told the world that this is something that should have not happened. I know my channel comes off pretty biased, because I am an American and I do believe in America and our values. This should not be an opportunity to vilify each other even further. This should be an opportunity for all Americans to come together and realize that something is wrong. I know this isn't as funny as my videos normally are, but I think a few people need to hear this.